All right, let's talk a little bit about lens correction. Lens correction is automatically applied to all of your raw photos when you first browse them. We detect the lens and we correct not just for distortion, but also for chromatic aberration and for vignetting or fall off. A lot of times a wide angle lens will get darker around the edges. We'll detect and remove that automatically. Let me show you where you can then adjust those settings. Inside of the develop module, you'll scroll down to the lens correction pane. Right here, it'll show you the lens info for the photo that you're working on. It'll also show you which lens profile it's detected. It'll automatically detect and find one. You can then manually override it by rolling down the little manual slider right here. Now, before we show you what these options do, let's just turn it on and off so you can see what automatic does. See, there's before. This was shot with a pretty wide angle lens. This was shot at 17 millimeters. So it has a lot of barrel distortion to it. So let's turn it back on. Now you can see how it pulls that barrel distortion out and helps make things look a bit better. I can then override that and add more or remove more distortion by using the distortion slider. So I can twist that to dial in just the shape that I want. If there's color aberrations or color fringing on the edges, I can use the color fringe sliders to help reduce those. I see a little bit of green color fringing right here on that edge. So I can turn that up to help reduce that color fringing. And then if I wanted to reduce the fall off even more, it's actually done a really good job automatically, but let me show you, I could come in and I could darken those or brighten those edges up. And the midpoint slider lets me control how quickly that attacks the edges of my photos. So there we go. Let's take a look at before and after. There's before with no lens correction and after with lens correction enabled. And again, all of your raw photos that you browse will have lens correction applied to them automatically. Now, when it comes to JPEGs, we can't apply it automatically because we don't know what changes have already happened to the photo, but you can, on your JPEGs, go in and add lens correction to them and adjust them based on your own settings as well. One more thing before I go, lens correction's best friend is the transform pane. It also allows you to do perspective adjustments. That's a little bit different than lens correction. So I can click on show more, grab the transform pane, and I can use this to correct for horizontal and vertical distortion as well. So perhaps on a photo like this, I want to grab that vertical slider and I want to tilt it a little bit to help me remove some of that vertical distortion in my photo, just like that. There we go. That's how you can use the lens correction pane and the transform pane together to help make your photo look great.